with you through thick and thin. What in trouble you are in? I don't care whatever you do. Just know that I love you. Oh, oh, oh I love you. Well, hello there. Welcome to a special loungy edition of the Smoke and Joe show featuring yours truly, Smoke and Joe Scarpolino right here. First and foremost, like I always do, I'm going to tell you to please share this video. And it's extra important today because after the video is over, we're going to collect all the shares, put them into a random name generator, and we're going to be giving away tickets. That's right, tickets to Hotel Minnesota. So share this, share it, share it, share it, share it. So, you know, the more times you share, you don't get entered more times. It's only one entrance. We want to make it fair. But feel free to share as much as you possibly can. Uh, oh, but if you're watching this in the future, of course, please subscribe to the YouTube channel, which is my YouTube channel, uh, Smoke and Joe. We have all the past episodes. This is episode 32. So we've done this 30, this is the 32nd time uh, at this. So we're kind of figuring it out. Uh, and then also, I want to make sure everybody knows this is presented by Vicarious Visions. We got John Marin back there. I can see him. You can't. He's running the controls. Vicarious Visions is your stop shop for live streams, especially in Minneapolis. Uh, so everybody give a big thanks to John because he's killer. Thanks, John. Thanks, John. Yeah, see? See? Uh, so, oh, I have a big thank you to say. Hey, everybody. Thank you so much. I'm going to Hawaii, everyone. I'm going to Hawaii in February. Yay! It started out as a crazy idea. I just saw the contest and I was like, you know what? I want to go to Hawaii with all these fun hippies in February. And look, right there, I got set. I can't ever do this. I got second place. Second place out of like all the dozens of applicants. So thank you all so much for voting every day. All, all fall long, uh, so I'm going to Hawaii, and you should join me if you want. It's, uh, it's in like a month, so get those, get those plane tickets, because I sure should. Um, but without further ado, we're going to get into the weekend get down. What's getting down around town for the weekend get down? Well, of course, uh, you know, Hotel Minnesota, but we're going to start with something else. Uh, Star Wars in concert. Star Wars. In concert, the Minnesota Orchestra uh, at 7.30 p.m. Minnesota Orchestra, this is the building and the orchestra. Journey to a galaxy far, far away to relive the excitement of the original Star Wars movie as the Minnesota Orchestra performs an exhilarating live accompaniment of the Oscar-winning score. This program is part of Minnesota Orchestra's American expression, celebrating and exploring this country's bold, imaginative, and diverse classical music tradition. Um, so other dates, it's on, it starts tomorrow, but it is also on Friday at 8 p.m. Saturday there are two two performances 2 p.m. and 8 p.m. and Sunday there's two performances 2 p.m. and 8 p.m. so if you're coming to Hotel Minnesota you can still go to the Star Wars in concert uh, tonight or uh, Sunday so Star Wars in concert with the Minnesota Orchestra that is uh, let's see ooh Gentlemen's Anti-Temperance League uh, is a string quartet that brings mostly rhythms and sizzling leads of prohibition swing into the 21st century. You may have seen them at the Galactic Get Down in 2018. And I can finally say, last year. Last, oh yeah, Happy New Year, everybody. Last year. Last year's Galactic Get Down. Um, it is 2019 as heck. Um, hot off the release of their fourth album, Gentlemen's anti Temperance League is bringing three hours of modern originals with a classic sound to the, I want to say it's Vieux Carré, but it's French, and I am not. So pardon my mispronunciation. That is 8 to 11 p.m. One of the funniest names of, of a show I've heard in a long time is, I won this gig in a chess match, which I think they actually did. The fine folks at Mortimer's gave us, and I believe that is the Telemones, a show because Chris from the Telemones played chess with some of the staff. If you haven't played chess with the Mortimer's staff, your life is severely lacking. Also, Mortimer's drinks are more than reasonably priced and get you just as drunk. Whoa! They wrote that, not me. Obviously, won't be getting drunk, but also... I guess there'll be music from the Telemones, apparently all right at chess. Mild Manor, featuring Dante from Space Monkey Mafia. Chess skills unknown, but they're pretty groovy nonetheless. And the Confused Brothers Band. They're not even sure if they've played chess in their lives. Um, so go to Mortimer's and go see a show based on an, a chess match. 
And also coming up on Thursday. Oh, this is all tonight. This is all happening right now. Um, uh, Hood fellas play the music of the of fish at the caboose at 9 p.m. Uh, and that's all the info I got on that. But uh, that is tonight. So head on over to the caboose for some fish. Some fish. Well, I'm gonna look and see if anybody said anything. Oh, it's lagging. It's going back and forth. We're on the hotel internet. Yeah, yeah, we're on the hotel ever internet, everyone. We could switch to my my phone maybe, but I think we're okay. Yeah, I think we're okay. Thanks for dealing with the lagging, but hey, we're doing it live from the lounge. So we're just gonna have to deal which is it. Um Friday. Friday, of course. The reason for the season, this is Hotel Minnesota, and I'm going to read all about it. January 4th and 5th, Crown Plaza, Minneapolis West. That's where we are today. Uh, book your hotel reservations online or call and ask for the Minnesota Room Block, group code Q70. You won't remember that. Hotel rooms and tickets will be sold separately, so you got to get your tickets and your rooms separately. Um, the lineup consists of Kind Country with Vince Herman of Leftover Salmon, the Schwag, DJ Abilities from Rhyme Sayers, Carnage Executioner, who we have a video from today, uh, Heatbox, who's been on our show and is a lovely man, uh, Down Low and Deploy performing In Our World, Dead Larry, Big Zag's Hip Hop Showcase featuring Flow State and a bunch of other people I can't remember right now, Mae Simpson, Jillian Ray, Push and Turn, Space Monkey Mafia, Frog Leg Duo, Dimitri Rollis and Joe Dunn, Feed the Dog, Divine Collection, DJ Innovation, Jason Flatiger and John Sullivan, Happy Hour, or that's, they're doing Happy Hour, Pat Ferguson Music, Up and Out, DJ Blaze One, Black River Review, Red Eye Ruby, Common Ground Company, Dream of the Wild, Nug, and Jeffrey Fishbein. So, wow, that's a lot of music. Live art by Art Guy Chuck, Dizzle Arts, who we know and love so well, Art by Rico, who we know and love so well. We got Tex, who's going to be doing art in here, and we got Brandon from Shake and Paint doing art in our room as well. Um, there are three stages, four if you count the lounge. Um, live painters, yoga, themed rooms like ours, the Galactic Lounge, and, uh, you know, pool party. There's a pool party going on. There's a two-hour smoking Joe set tomorrow from four to six, so if you feel like playing music with me, it's kind of an open jam with me. I'm just hanging out in our room, getting things figured out. All this is happening at Crown Plaza, Minneapolis West. That's where we are right now. 3131 Campus Drive, Plymouth, Minnesota, and... Uh, just to get you more in the mood, we have grabbed their promo video from the internet, and we're going to show you now. This is what it's going to be like, everybody. Buddy. So that looks exciting. That was at the old spot, but this is the first time at this new spot and the first time that we've been given the reins of any sort of room at this event. But the Galactic Lounge right here is your stop for a chill zone to relax on our comfy couches. We're going to have movies, late night movies, 3 a.m. Friday night, Saturday morning, but 3 a.m. Friday, we got Christmas on Mars. And then Saturday afternoon, we got a double feature matinee of both Guardians of the Galaxy. And then Saturday late night, we have Mars Attack. So make sure to wander on over to Galactic Lounge for that. But we also have a ton of uh, artists in here. We got snacks. We're going to have popcorn. We're going to have a chill out zone. We're going to have music. And we're going to have, you know, sci fi movies and little clips playing all day and just a good place for you to hang out. And look, there are ladies. There they, there they go running through the lounge. You can see how big and glorious it is. Look. We're decorating. Yep. So we got, they were decorating. And of course we have the lights on. Oh, hey babe, can't see you. Um, 
Uh, oh, there you are. Oh, hi. And there's Angela. Decorating Her and Crystal are helping. We're going to help them after the show, but I got the show to do, so I can't help. <laughs> I just have to hang out while they do all the work. Um, I know, it works out for some reason. Uh, anyway, where are we? Down at the end here. Oh, yeah. We still have more weekends that are getting down. Uh, Saturday. Saturday, Saturday. Red Eye Ruby. That's what I got. Yep. Red Eye Ruby is playing Saturday at Palmer's with Maya Elena, who's also going to Hawaii. They haven't said it yet, but she is. Uh, come hang with us. My, or come hang with us, Red Eye Ruby, not me. Uh, at their f at your favorite West Bank watering hole, Palmer Palmer's Bar. Music starts at seven that Saturday, and I believe it's free. Pretty sure, maybe five bucks, probably free. And then Saturday, I will sadly have to leave the Galactic or the Galactic Get Down. I'm not going to leave that. I'm going to leave <laughs> Hotel Minnesota uh, for a little while on Saturday because I got to run to Madison and play this dope concert at High Noon Saloon with Iftikhar, Undercover Organism, Marvin, Dead Larry, and special guest MC Flo Poetry, who's actually at the very first Galactic Get Down, if you remember, um, I believe, or the second one. I think it was the first one. The first one? I think so, too. Yeah. They're all starting to blend together, folks. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that is Saturday, January 5th at High Noon Saloon in Madison, Wisconsin. Doors are at 8, show is at 9. It is an 18-plus show, so all you kiddos in Madison can come out. Uh, tickets are $15 if you get them in advance, $15 if you get them at the door. Uh, they're available at highnoon.com, by phone, and at the High Noon itself. Here's the spiel. We Jam, Wisconsin Jam, presents their fourth annual Winter Fire event at High Noon Saloon. This year's lineup features Wisconsin original music icons Iftikhar, as well as world-famous gypsy jazz fusion prodigy, pro, prodigy, prodigies Marbin. Milwaukee's favorite Dramtronica act, Undercover Organism, and the dark and funky sounds of Dead Larry. That's us. From the Twin Cities. Or Iowa, depending on who you ask. Madison's favorite Merry Prankster and Globetrotting Jam Poet Extraordinaire Flow Poetry will MC the event and perform as well. Uh, we Jam puts on Moon Dance, and they do all sorts of really great events all year. Um, so yeah, 18 plus, tickets are 15 bucks. And then, last but not least, on Sunday... Just like this fun webcast, our friend Romy and the Romer Dome have their own webcast as well. And it is, and it is once a month. And this month, uh, it is on Sunday, January 6th, for the fourth official season. And this is featuring Space Monkey Mafia. Who'd think? Who'd have thunk? Who did you? Yep. And Mikey D, all the way from Fargo, he's coming down. He's been on the show as well. That's uh, going to be a tight show. It's going to be a tight show. Everybody knows. Mikey D and his loopy, his loopy dupes. He's really good. Very heartfelt. Really heartfelt songwriter. I really, you know, gotten to love his music recently. Um, but here's the spiel. The Familia is incredibly honored to be partnering with IPR, the Institute of Production and Recording. Production and Recording. I'm t just slaying this. <laughs> <laughs> to host these amazing non-alcoholic events and promote wellness through creativity and music. Along in this journey are amazing friends and Ohana Naked Hippie Brew Kombucha Jun and Kava the People will be bringing the love through Kava and Jun. Below are their direct Facebook, oh, that blah, 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 that's actually not here. This is an Ohana family friendly event. Bring one, bring everyone to include all the keiki, kikis, keikis, kikis, children, all the kids, all welcome. I'm going to get this Hawaii lingo down, y'all, because I got to go there. Do they say y'all in Hawaii? I hope so. Uh, but the show information, it's Sunday from 3 to 6. Doors are at 3. Music starts at 4. Uh, $10 cover, $5 per AWA shell. Then you can fill it up as much as you want. Um, IPR students and kids 12 and under are free and get $1 off the non-alcoholic selections. And if you can't make it to the show, guess who's live streaming it? John Marin from Vicarious Visions will be doing that. Thanks, John. Thanks, John. And uh, so, yeah. Uh, other than that, I just want to tell you all to come to the Galactic Get Down. That's right. It's starting and it's not going to stop until July. Come to the Galactic Get Down, July 18th through 20th, 2019 at Outback Ranch. We haven't released our lineup yet, but we're working really hard. and we got some super exciting stuff that we can't tell you. But I really want to tell you we can't. But I will as soon as I can. It's just not official yet. It's just not official. We don't know. A lot of things are up in the air, but it's about to land. And we'll let you know as soon as we know. Um... And uh, let's see, I think that's all I have until we go to our first musical video break. And the first music video is from Hotel Minnesota. This is 2015, recorded by and edited by Vicarious Visions. John right over here. 
and it is one of the most popular videos of any friend I've ever had was the official video of this, and this is a live version of Useful Jenkins and Big Zach doing Speak, Hotel Minnesota 2015. This next song is, uh, is a song from our Useful Jenkins and Big Zach CD that's coming out, and it's called Speak. It goes like this. Like a beacon of light, light, light up the room so bright. bright. If we all believe, believe. life is like a wheel, we'll give and receive. Speak like a beacon of light, light, light up the room so bright. bright. If we all believe, believe. Peace. That's how I greet him when I see him and speak with him on my Star Trek phone. It's like live long and prosper and get your pride proper. Assalamualaikum, may you have clean water. Your aqua H2O, clean like a first leaf on the of snow. A place to grow where we can take it slow. It makes sense now, this immense matrix code. They play the globe like a game of thrones. So staying on my dome like my beanie is Khaleesi shown. Out the fire when the eggs were hatching. Pat, I need a girl in my life with wet dragons. And the music on her iPhone festy. Kinda heady and hip hips holding up the helix. Ooh. Albert Lee, speaking her thoughts and got roots like like a beacon of light, light, light up the room so bright. bright. If we all believe, believe. it's like a hula hoop, get up and see. Speaking like a beacon of light, light, lighting up the room so bright. bright. If we all believe, 360 degrees, give and receive. But when you speak, don't shadow the light. No, let your words sing, shine so bright and full. Because the truth and love has come out right. You know, you know, you know. I said, hey. Come out, babe, don't be shy, baby, it's okay I know it's been hard for you lately Cap, God, won't you come and take me Cause in this life I gotta prosper Feeling good, I gotta spread it on proper Fill it through the refresh glass of water Pour it on like you for the stop Because you are beautiful Can't nobody break your soul I got more to offer than you know It's time to buy up and think about it Go and just speak Speak like a beacon of light Light up our belief so bright. bright. If we all believe, believe it's like a hula hoop getting high. Speaking like a beacon of light. light. Lighting up the room so bright. bright. If we all believe, 360 degrees, we give and see. A lot like life, death, dreams. Now what I mean might seem metaphoric, but in time let your mind explore it. We orbit a star on a giant rocker, so we've always been told through science talk. Earth life fueled from water and sunlight. And if we are apes evolved to walk up right, right up on top of the food chain, vibe the tide, the food makes our food change. Calendar annual, the three male human is a magical animal. Since we are eating on the eating apple. I do the knowledge on a modest goddess. Their energy is hard to harness. After all, we are all made out of stardust. Speak like a beacon of light. Light up our belief so bright. If we all believe, believe. It's like a hula hoop given to Speak like a beacon of light. Light up the room so bright. Energy release at a hotel party with no police.
Thank you guys so much. We love you. Thank you. Mike is live. Well, we're... Hello. We're back. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we're going to play today's game. And uh, I decided that what is a better game than... What's, What's in, in the, the bag? bag? My favorite. What's in the I bag? Like the and this is a favorite. salty <laughs> snack edition of what's in the bag. So I'll probably suck at this version because I'm a sweet person. Salty snack edition of what's in the I bag. I can be salty, but... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I should have Jess play this one. I can be salty, yeah, right? too. <laughs> so here we have our masks. Jess Anderson, if you're watching, this is for you, you salty bitch. <laughs> so who wants to go first, I guess? Do we have a... Well, I guess I have the blindfold. You have the blindfold? All right. So we'll start easy. We'll get harder as we go. So what's in the bag? Is that still the same bag? That All right. <laughs> yeah. So this is just, this is a super easy one. Starting off standard. Here we go. Salty snack edition, everyone. There's nothing more standard than this. Angela, or I guess you can open it. Oh, and also share the video. Share this video for a chance to win. It sounds Your like... Your chance to win. It sounds like chips. It feels like chips. Do I have to guess the kind of chip? Yeah. Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's mostly <laughs> chips. Salty snack edition. Mm. I went to the Dollar Tree. Okay. These That's what I got for today. <laughs> Are these Lay's? Yeah. Straight up Lay's. Regular old potato chips. <laughs> Nailed it. I told you the first one would be. Got it. <laughs> All right, well, Angela, oh, we're just going back and forth. Oh, I don't know. Did you bring That the works other fine. One? What's yes. in the bag? Yeah, All right. Out, so. I have another blindfold. Oh, you do? Yeah. Well, why wouldn't you just have our own? I got it all ready to go. Thanks, Dr. Jen, for the matching blindfold. Mm -hmm. All right. You ready? Can you see? Uh, no. You cannot see. I cannot I'm just going to hand you the... <laughs> I help you. Okay. Because <laughs> even smelling them is a... Yeah, you can smell them. You can touch them. You can taste them. You can listen to them if that's helpful. Let me know if you want more. Cheesy Doritos. What kind of cheese? <laughs> Nacho cheese. <laughs> wow, Angela. <laughs> Not sure. So yeah, so first round, that was easy. That was easy, right? First round's easy. Of what's in the bag. This is my first salty snack edition. Alright, so we're gonna we're gonna take it up. Take one it up notch. To be quite honest with you guys, this is not my best what's in the bag. <laughs> it was very last minute plan. <laughs> I'm trying to do five days of work and three days this 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 week. I don't know if you guys know what that's like, but. All right. What's in the bag, Angela? Actually, it's what's in the bag in the bag. What's in the bag in the bag? What's in the bag's bag? <laughs> mm. Okay, I eat these all the time at my work with my nanny family. Oh, do you? They're cheeses. But what kind? What kind? Parmesan. Mm. Oh. No, white cheddar. Yeah. White cheddar. <laughs> The Parmesan and white cheddar kind of taste similar, in my opinion. A little bit. All right. And I, there's also a bonus round with an impossible one. Don't you guys just love watching us chew? Yeah, chew. <laughs> Listening especially. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Jennifer. Uh, awesome, Jen. You did give us the other. Yep. I just gave you a shout yeah, I know, out. But I think I think we're one. just way behind. All right. Thanks again, Dr. Jen. That rhyme. How awesome. All right. <laughs> Next salty snack, Andrew, you gonna help? Yep. Oh, I wish I got these ones. I'm gonna <laughs> need some too. You ready? Yep. What's in the bags, bags, bag? Mm -hmm. Ooh, they're warm. <laughs> More, like literally? <laughs> like in my mouth hot. <laughs> oh yeah. They are in your mouth hot. <laughs> Angela's just eating them just cause. Mm -hmm. Um. <laughs> These are my fave. I want to say the jalapeno che Cheetos. Well, I mean, jalapenos are too specific. I don't think they're actually... Are they flaming hot? They are yep, flaming they hot. They are flaming okay. hot. <laughs> flaming hot, just like me. So we just have one more round then? And Mark Grundhopper. What? We just have one more round? Yeah. Mm. Got one more round. So far, we're two for two. 
I'm trying to stump you, Angela. Um, you didn't even know I was going to play today, babe. I mean, I, I, I figured. <laughs> <laughs> I hope there's still pickle in there somewhere. Pickle? Still pickle chips? Those are good. Well, you can keep hoping. <laughs> Darn. Oh, shit. All right. What is it, and what's the flavor? Oh, shit. I'm sorry. Making a mess on my brand new couch. <laughs> At least. At least it's. Oh, it, I don't even gonna say. Nope. She can't see it. <laughs> mm. Guess what is it? They feel like Cheetos. They are not. Just to give you a hint. Are they um those Takis? Yeah. <laughs> hot Cheetos and Takis. Hot Cheetos yeah. and Takis. I thought that. Yeah, I got that. You know, it reminds me of. Uh, Orange is the new black. I've never eaten these yeah. before. Now I just thought I knew Takis. Or similar to Cheetos. You've never had Takis before? That's what I thought. Yeah. So All that, right. That was a good guess on my part. Well, the kids. You want to no, I'm good. I already wanna, did. Are you the good kids. on those or do you want to keep eating them? No, I'm good. <laughs> the kids oh, eat. Oh, at least they match the couch. That's what I was going to say earlier. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to because then you would know they were orange. The kids eat the purple Takis. Those are really hot. The purple ones are hotter than the orange ones? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, you couldn't stump me, babe. Oh, I have one that you guys won't get, but I didn't want to put. Oh. I can't see it. Did you see that? No. Okay, good. I saw the back of it. I know it's blue. Okay, that's fine. All right. <laughs> Crystal's last one. This is easy as well, and I hate them. I hate them too. I hate them with a passion. Not a fan. Oh, there's so many. <laughs> I don't, I don't know I'm about to eat it. <laughs> Those are gross. Oh, they're corn nuts. They are, they are corn nuts. Do you like All right. Nuts? I love corn nuts. This is the easiest what's in the bag that you guys got in Crystal the bag. Crystal and I just love eating food. <laughs> you know, there's this no... Uh... All right. Put, your, put it on. You're but supposed to cover up. I did all three rounds. I know. This is the bonus round. If either one of you gets this, then you oh, actually so win. Because now you're tied. Okay. So this is a... Three and three. Like the quick fire challenge? This is the quick fire challenge. So we're both doing it? Yeah. And I got to go up to the camera for this one because it's dope. <laughs> <laughs> all those are awesome. I know. Playing on a theme. <laughs> I had a drink There's here somewhere. I know, oh, I have my drink back there. Hold on. <laughs> Don't stop. I need to I need cleanse a my palate. <laughs> Thank you. I still need to bring my vacuum. You want some of this? Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> yep. Look at the fun parts. Look how cool that is. Anyway. Uh, thanks. That was a good palate. You get a million too. points if you can guess. What these are. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Olivia Quintanilla showed me these. Oh, yeah. I don't know what they're called. Oh, yeah. But they're, I think, Mexican pinwheel things. <laughs> nope. No? <laughs> okay, then Feel I. Feel the shapes very closely. You might, you might stir something within you. Oh, well, I just ate all my mini chlorians. Give me two more. <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys. We have guests coming in. Um, I'm stumped. <laughs> You're stumped? Okay, that's so good. So you guys like can't guess? You guys Hold can't on, guess? I haven't guessed anything yet. Uh -huh. I can't think of the name of them, but I've had them before. They're okay. I was wrong. It There's tastes, something spacey, though. It tastes like cardboard to me. A little bit. <laughs> Which is making it hard to guess what it is. Well, so I kind of want to say that they're like Quaker oat something. Ooh, rice cake snacks? Yes. Nope. No? No. Nope. Well, that was my guess. All right, you guys want to reveal? So yeah. I stumped you. Good. Oh, pop chips. They're uh, galaxy hey. puffs. Star Wars themed. Oh, okay. Well, they were very similar to the whole cardboard. <laughs> yeah. They don't taste very good. I wouldn't recommend buying them. No, but they do have fun shapes. Like, uh... Okay. Like, uh... I think this is... <laughs> Stormtrooper. <laughs> <laughs> this is uh, 
Millennium right. Falcon, obviously. We're going to get back to decorating. All right, you guys get back to work. We're going to cut to our next. Bye. Thanks for playing What's in the Bag, easy as hell edition. I don't know, get it. All right, y'all. So our next video is featuring one of the epic performers at Hotel Minnesota, Cartage the Executioner. Um, I talked to him today about playing the video, and I think we're going to get him on the show uh, sometime in the next couple weeks, which is super exciting. He's a very talented guy. I think this video came out in November, so it's pretty recent. Uh, this is Carnage the Executioner off his new album, and the song is called Ravenous. Avoid distractions, some enjoying that when tears are dropping, gurgling tummy. So when employing action, you fear I'm not concerned with it. Departed from time, clock with mine, like the line, gotten larger, munching, mouth is tingling, crowd was mingling, no complaints. Now brows are wrinkling, growing shame of those of angst and showing fangs, heart is thumping. You better start the running. Tools of maneuver, who and eluded death. While I'm using intruders, yellow wise and cruising two steps. Two was abusing, rules of producing where food is kept. Call up a loose and chewing the suited to a tooth and flesh. Pause in beautiful beds, terrace claws protruding your rest with more than losable chest. Awesome, beautiful mess. Debating private and secret supermarkets. If creating job industry with human carcasses. <laughs> Yell channel force, then it stalls the amp. Swell handle more, grinning jaws of clam. No matter if, gotta grind me. Yo, can I live? I'm just trying to eat. Yell channel force, then it stalls the amp. Swell handle more, grinning jaws of clam. No matter if, gotta grind the meat. Yo, can I live? I'm just trying to eat. We live? Oh, yep. Hello. I am here with the head honcho himself, Mr. Mark Grunhofer. So, Mark, this is how well, how many minutes notice is this? Will this be? Uh, uh this is five? I think this is the fifth one. Fifth think, one? I think. Yeah, pretty sure about that. Nice. Yeah. So yeah, I guess let's see. My wife writes out these questions, so this is as much a surprise to me uh, as it is to you. All right. <laughs> so happy new year. Uh, any holiday highlights? Got any New Year's resolutions you're 
already denying. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, there's some resolutions. Um, this year I'm gonna leave out all the stuff I don't need to yeah. mess with. Yeah, we're gonna keep the only this real important stuff that I need to be doing, and the rest is gonna go somewhere else. Like everything, not just events, just, but like your whole life. Just in general, it's kind of an overriding theme. Yeah. Yeah. You know, some uh, some things in life are uh, very time consuming, and uh, and some people are like energy vampires and yeah. those people are I mean you know it's like you gotta make a choice at some point what, what you want for your life and so I'm kind of like looking at my life like that sort of like what to leave in what to leave out you know can we expect uh, a lot of the same events from last year or there's anything, anything? Sorry, I'm not gonna I'm not, not gonna really say yet it's nice. all anything it's a mystery can it's a surprise I mean that's no fine matter what, I don't tell these people yeah. anything We've been involved in <laughs> so many different things over the years. It's always changing. Yeah. So, I mean, certainly, uh, you know, we, we like doing our annual ones and stuff. But, you know, I never leave anything, uh, never rule anything out. Yeah. So, I mean, especially like, you know, I think it was last summer you did those big events up by, well, I can't remember which lake, in that big band shell. Oh, yeah, the uh, Como Dock side. Yeah, and that yeah. was cool. Yeah, that was cool. You know, so that's one of those that. things that kind of popped up out of yep. out of nowhere, and that was super fun. Yeah, we were on track to do that again for a second year, but uh, the lease changed hands, so yeah. new people came in, and you know, with new people, they got new ideas, and so ah, so new that ideas. was that. But you know, we'd love to go back there someday, though. That was a blast. All right, and I mean, I know you pretty much. I mean, you booked the show, but who are you looking forward to the most? Is there anybody that like mm. you, like a one set? You're gonna make sure you get a, like a few minutes to check out because I know that I mean you obviously probably can't watch many full sets right um well I'll definitely be checking out the uh kind of country Vince Herman collaboration because that's going to be amazing yeah um I mean I've known Vince for a very long time almost 20 years wow so it's like you know to see Vince and kind country collaborate for the first time together is it the be, first time this will be the well this will be the first time that like on a full band stage, yeah. yeah so at at Como Dockside, we had a, had a big after party after Leftover Salmon, and, and uh, at the after party, we did a bunch of members of Big Woo, we did a bunch of members of uh, Leftover, and then I made sure that Max was in, in on yeah. that. So Max got to meet Vince last summer doing nice. that, and then, um, um, you know, and that's sort of where they first collaborated, and this will be the first time Kind Country and Vince play together, and we actually are going to do a, a run of dates at the end of January together in Missouri as well. Yep. So um, that's all very exciting. So that's going to be the start of that collaboration. All the way over to Kentucky? Yeah, there's uh, Kansas, Kansas City, Kansas. Columbia, Missouri, uh, Indianapolis, St. Louis, and uh, Newport, Kentucky. Yep. So that's the Kind Country Tour at the end of January with Vince Herman. And then Vince is going to do the late night bluegrass thing yes. too. Yes, yep. So they'll do a late, it'll be a late night bluegrass pick on Saturday night here at the hotel in um, Minnesota. And that's going to be interesting. If anybody's ever seen Vince late night, it it gets pretty wild. It's great. I saw him at Revi Revival. Yeah. I want to say he came out to the shed. Yep. And just he, raged. He loves a good old late night hoot and nanny. Everybody gets involved, and it's super, super fun. So that's uh, that's going to be exciting. Also, DJ abilities is also a treat. I mean, he's a master of the turntables. There's nobody quite like yeah. him. Um, he's a unique artist in every way. Also, Carnage. It goes on and on, though. I could, I mean, I could say the same about almost every act playing here. But you're playing. Uh, yeah, I am playing. Yeah. With Downlow. I'm you're playing doing with Downlow. Full album. We're doing a full out, the full in our world record with Deploy. Well, we got Desdemona coming out to do it. She nice. was on that record. Uh, Stephanie Devine will be here. Mm -hmm. DJ Innovation will be here. Almost everybody who made the record will be here. Wow. To do it. That's hard so, to do. Yeah. Uh, and then, what was I going to say about that? Oh, I was going to say, it's not a Hotel Minnesota without Deep Ploy to me. Like, it seems like nice. every year he just kind of ends up here for Hotel Minnesota, the yeah. last two years at least. Well, he likes to come see his Minnesota crew. Mm -hmm. so. It's like, that's what I want to do when I live in California. He lives in California? Yep. It's like, come on out. For... He's on the airplane right now. He'll be here in about three hours. So Here? Yeah, he's probably not coming here right away. He's flying his private jet right here. <laughs> me, me too. I'm going to fly my private jet to and Hawaii. Helicopter. <laughs> Da, na, na. Da, na, na. Congratulations on winning the thing, man. Yeah, I, <laughs> thank job. you. Yeah, dude. Awesome. I got a lot of people that are voting, and you know, I mean, I'm not saying that my fans cheated, but they probably bent some rules. It's the internet. What do you do? I feel oh. like if people are down to bend rules for you, then you know those it's are like It's all hearsay. You're, yeah, I mean, this is pre 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 presumably not cheating so much as 
you know, there's a system in place. You got you the popular work with vote. Too. I got the I got second place. Oh. Got second place. Oh, so is there two winners then? There are five. Oh, cool. Yeah. Well, so it was, it was yeah, but I mean, if there were only two, I still would have won. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Um, You're a winner. I am a winner. <laughs> yeah, and then you know, and then I just have to get myself there. And a bunch of the band is is gonna like make an excuse to make it a vacation. Oh, cool. You know, and then Chuck lives out there, Chuck Bokey from yeah. Useful Jenkins. He, he, already, he already agreed to play with me while I'm out there. Nice. So that's cool. Nice. And uh, let's see. Parties, games. Ooh, here's a fun question for all the nerds out there. What game or movie universe would you most like to live in? Game like, or movie Like universe? Marvel, Star Wars, Star Trek, Lord of the Rings, uh, you know, Blade Runner. Toy I would, Story. <laughs> I would say uh, to live in. To live in. So you can't just like. I go mean, for a while. You, you could go. I there. mean, yeah, that's a commitment. That's, I know. <laughs> my, my answer's changing already. Yeah. I don't know. Just vacation there. The huh? I like the Shire. I'm down with the Shire, man. The Shire. Let's yeah. Let's go to the Shire and let's. Puff on the, Puff on the, on the, you know, the, the elven weed. Yeah, the, the elven, the elven weed, and they make their own ale. They have parties. Yeah. All the time. Hobbits, good people. Hobbit, they are good people. They good don't people. like to, they don't like to do much, but they do like wizard fireworks. So, well, some of them like to and do Led stuff. Zeppelin. And yeah. Led Zeppelin. Yeah. <laughs> Led Zeppelin's there. Bilbo's there. Good people. <laughs> Ooh, here's a really weird question. Good one, babe. This is odd. What would be your first question after waking up for, from being cryogenically frozen for a hundred years? Uh, what year is it? <laughs> yeah, I guess that. Who? What? What? What <laughs> I would think, be my second question? <laughs> that would be your second question. Uh, <laughs> that's funny. That's the that's the real question. Yeah, that's what real, would the second question. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, I don't know. Um, I guess what's, be, what's for dinner? What's for dinner? Yeah, yeah I mean, you got to look around. It's like it depends on what's happening. Like, there's like. You're a, looking at me. Yeah, like if it's a hundred years from now, a hundred years isn't that long. A thousand years would probably so be more. A hundred years, yeah. We're like, where's Maybe, my hoverboard? Yeah, I'd be like, <laughs> can humans fly? Yeah, you got tell that. me, Dad. Tell me. Uh, we oh, we are in the midst of setting up a galactic get down, galaxy themed chill lounge area. If you don't know that, which you do, um, that's a thing. Yep, it's a thing. We like to get nerdy. Mark let us uh, have a whole room to be nerds in and, and watch movies. It's really cool. It just felt natural. Yeah. It felt just like the right thing to do. <laughs> Good. Yeah. We want it to feel all natural for everyone. Um, let's see. Are you a sci-fi fan? Or no? Or yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Totally. Um, so, I mean, you kind of have to. First thing that comes to mind when you say sci-fi is Dune. Dune? Dune's the, uh, I grew up on Dune. Uh, my mom loved that flick. We watched it a lot. Dune's good. Obviously, Twin Peaks was a huge, yeah. you know. Did you huge. watch the new Twin Peaks? Um, no, I haven't. I have not. I have not watched it. I watched the movie, of course, when it came out. Yeah. Which was strange. I was, like, me preparing more, to watch the new Twin Peaks, so I watched re the old Twin Peaks. And if you watch all that in a row, it leaves you with a really weird feeling. Oh, for sure. <laughs> yeah. just, like, your brain starts to... Well, even both seasons are different. For season one is a little different than season two. Yeah. And By the end of season two, it's just bomb. I know. Season <laughs> one is really the... Pla that's, like, real... Yeah, know. with the dancing guy. Yep. Cooper. <laughs> Cooper. Um, let's see. Yeah, you already said you got a favorite. That was Dune. Um... Ooh, here's a good question for you. What are, are you some into sci-fi? Am I into sci-fi? <laughs> yeah, Star Trek. All of I mean, and Star Wars. Get too. out of here. Get out. Um, I did see this thing. Uh, <laughs> William Shatner has a uh, Netflix uh, special called uh, Are the Answers in the Stars? Oh, yeah. Man, you know, I'll tell you, it's not... It's not the worst film I've ever watched. <laughs> but he is not a great speaker. No. He's very, and he, like, produces these things. And he's and very, <laughs> not very eloquent. He's, I'm sure it's, like, very one take. It felt like very one take. Like, they just went in. He, he's, he's got some legitimate interviews out there. Some pretty heavyweight names. Yeah. But he's just, like, stumbling <laughs> all of his words and stuff. I don't know. It's kind of weird. That's but, hilarious. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I feel like. And he did, he did a couple others where he, like, goes in and he interviewed, like, the, you know, the creators of the original Star Trek and all this other stuff. And yeah. Yeah, interviews are so it, yeah, it's like, it's, like, it's like this thing about, he's talking about how, like, how, like, you know, like, Star Trek sort of, like, inspired people to think about 
you know, right. outer space in and another way. And, and then he's like technology. interviewing scientists, and then he's got, and he's like walking around with his horse, <laughs> and he's like, the universe is like my horse, you know. <laughs> it's like, can't no. you see? You know, it's like, what yeah. are you talking about? And he's so yeah, he's he's older than I thought he was. He's like eighty. Yeah, he's old. Oh, yeah. He, oh, he old. Yeah, he, yeah, like I thought, you know, he doesn't look eighty, but I assume that's probably science as he well. Has not <laughs> hit, he has not hit the speed of light. <laughs> no. You know. What? I think they call them facelifts. Facelifts. Oh. But yeah. I'm just saying, maybe. I don't know. I don't, you know? Facelifts. If I were William Get Shatner. Get a facelift, Shatner. Hey. Yeah. Facelift, maybe. Sometime. We're going to go. Uh, speaking of, oh, no. No, I don't want to do that one. What are, ooh, this is good. And I feel like your answer might be close to mine. What are some simple things that could be done to make any day better for you? Simple things that could make any day better would include taking five minutes for yourself and uh, for myself in the morning yeah like before you, gotta, you start anything yeah it's important in the morning because your rest of your day i feel is affected by how you sort of start it in some ways it sort of sets the tone yeah so for me it's like almost like a uh like a like a like a, like a, a moment to set my set my the scene of my day Did you ever what, forget? Am, what, what am i doing where oh yeah for sure but that's yeah. when i stop and do it yeah i try to apply that whenever possible if you're ever feeling like like you can't focus. You you got too, there's too much going on. You gotta stop. You gotta chill. Maybe close your eyes. Whatever it is, you know everybody does it differently. Yeah. Stare at the wall. Whatever. Pet your cat. Whatever it is. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't really matter. It's whatever works for you. But to get that sort of peace of mind, so you can sort of get some focus for your day and like a direction. Because if you don't, I feel like your whole day can just be like just like almost like you're running around blindfolded. Right. Yeah. Like I mean, that girl in Bird Box. Right? <laughs> oh, Bird Box. <laughs> What a <laughs> sorry, I didn't admit, <laughs> brought it up. That, yeah. You know, See, let's yeah. talk about that a little bit. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it was oh. fine. Yeah. Like, it was okay. <laughs> like, it was the happening mixed with the quiet place, pretty much. Like, it was okay. I've seen worse movies. I've man. seen, but like the response <laughs> from the internet, I just didn't get. I mean, like, well, you know, it's they just you make a meme and things go off. Like when that moth was there on Facebook for a while, I thought that was odd. Yeah, that was weird. I didn't <laughs> get that. There was yeah. nothing to get. I looked it up, and there was just no reason. There was like just. one picture of a moth. And people just made, just ran with it. I was like, "What's it from?" They're like, "Nothing." <laughs> I'm like, "Oh, what the world needs now is, is a bird box." It's a bird box. So. But know, um, Sandra Bullock did a good I job, I thought. Oh yeah, just yeah, she did. She, I got you know, I got a little, I got a little freaked out a few times. Did all right, you that know. That dude, you know, he pokes that old lady's eyes out. That's weird. It's know, just, that's no it's good. just weird. Just yeah, you know. But then they had that clap. I can't believe they went to a grocery store. Like of every of place. I mean, of I know that's just like number one. Like just go to the grocery store. Go to the grocery store. It's an apocalypse. Chips. We need to go to the grocery store. <laughs> Something's gonna go wrong. Yeah. It's like every. But it's worth it. You know, <laughs> every like, movie, they, like The Mist, they go to the yeah. grocery store. Of course. They always go to the grocery store. You know, uh, what is it, Dawn of the Dead? You they go to the it. mall. <laughs> like, love I do it. love you it. Love it's it. predictable. I love predictable. That's part of the movie. All that stuff. <laughs> yeah. They go to the grocery <laughs> store. It's like, oh, no, someone's knocking. What's going to happen? Spoiler alert. Not going to tell you, but. We lost a guy. Yeah, he died. <laughs> um, that was a great, that was a great evolution of that question. What else makes my day good? What else makes your day Brushing good? Brushing your teeth is really important, everyone. And flossing. Only floss the teeth and you want to keep. Yep. Because if you don't do that, it's just gross. <laughs> and you know, you talk to somebody and your food's kind of coming out of your mouth. It's just gross. So I like to brush my teeth in the morning. Brushing teeth That's is a good, good one. Because like if I don't, man, morning, I, can't get, I can't get my groove on. If yeah. I want to brush my teeth, I feel weird. I'm like, ugh. Yep, brush brushing teeth. teeth is important. A little coffee's good. I like coffee. Coffee's good. Coffee's good. I put soy milk in my coffee now, which is weird, but it's fine. I used to drink almond milk, and I had Sammy Strings on the show, and he said that like the almond trees were like destroying California's like soil no, boy. or whatever. And I was like, "Well, now I know that, yeah. so I'm gonna drink soy milk because regular milk is kind of gross." You want me to drop a bomb on you? You know, yeah. really make your day better. Huh? Is forgive yourself <laughs> for that thing that you're being too hard on yourself about. Yeah, that's good. Like the almond milk, maybe. Yeah, totally. That could be it. I mean, but I mean, gotta, maybe things that are more serious. Okay, so maybe you won't buy all milk anymore. You got to finish the rest that you bought. I mean, yeah. you're not gonna throw that away. Not, well, no, because yeah. that's like even worse than not. Then you're just wasting. It. Yeah. Yeah, and it, yeah, yeah, it's really easy to be too hard on yourself, especially yeah. about especially about things you're trying to change. It's true, man. You know. You know, we were speaking of space and in the lactic lounge and everything else. I was 
I was watching the, uh, I think it was the Hubble telescope documentary. Mm -hmm. Carl Sagan talking about that when he when he turned the, tel the telescope around, right? Yeah. Or is it Voyager? I forget which one it was. Know. Anyways, he turned it around so we could take this picture of Earth, and Earth is this teeny little so speck, the bale, blue, teeny bale blue little dot, speck, yeah. and that's the famous interview where he yeah. says, "Everybody you you've ever known that you'll ever know, yeah. everybody who ever lived ever lived, lives in that little dot, little that dot. dot." And he's like, you know, common sense would tell you that we should probably take care of that little blue <laughs> dot, yeah. as we it's the only home that we know of, you know. Yeah, and I mean, we're of not the moon. We're gonna live there, but yeah, you know. I mean, werewolves already do. Because you know, if werewolves lived on the moon, they'd be werewolves. I never all the really time. thought of that, but maybe they do. I, don't, I, don't <laughs> I mean, know. they could. I mean, if they don't need oxygen, who knows? Mm, they could live there then. Could live. I mean, hard to kill them, right? Only silver bullets. Like they can't mm. die that way, right? I am no expert on werewolves. I have no. I don't know the rules. What do you think, everyone? <laughs> <laughs> could werewolves live on the moon? <laughs> think about it. <laughs> think about it. We have a song called Werewolves on the Moon on our Space Rock Opera album. And, yeah. and uh, we decided, yes, if werewolves uh, lived on the moon, they'd be werewolves all the time. Because they can see the moon. They're on it. <laughs> How could they, I can always see it. Right. It's always full because it's not. And then, uh, okay. okay, here we go. Who has impressed you the most? Okay, who is someone who has impressed you a lot with what they've accomplished in your life, I guess. Is that, is that the right question, babe? Oh, she's not listening what? to me. Nope, we're busy. <laughs> or, Mark Grundhofer, what's your claim to fame? My claim to fame? <laughs> Jeez, that's a loaded question. MJG Productions. My claim to fame. Claim to fame. I'm not sure I know the answer. I don't know, yeah, it's kind of hard to say, because you ever feel like, even though you put on these events, like you have a whole team and then it's not really you anymore. You know what I mean? Like it's you and everybody and everything. So that's not really your. Do you think? You know what I mean? Plain I think your claim insane. to fame is shredding yeah, I so was, hard. I was gonna say <laughs> playing pink Floyd. Like we'll work together so much, like on these events, or you know, like just communicating. And then every once in a while, I'll stop and you'll be playing shredding guitar and singing on stage. I'm like, oh yeah, he's really fucking good. <laughs> like I forgot because yeah. we always work on this like professional, sure. you know, event level. Sure. But like. When it comes right down to it, like the music, like it's it's good, it's good. Not to put you on the spot. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know the. I couldn't argue with what you just said. I guess. I mean, music's why I do it. Yeah. So, I don't know if that's my claim to fame or whatever. I don't know what exactly is the claim to fame, but I, I guess if if I died tomorrow and you're at my funeral, they'd probably say that he was dedicated to his his career and his yeah, music. Yeah, and your music. I mean, you yeah. make music. Not only yourself, you make it, but you create these times. You create the times that people remember. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, that's cool. It is. It's special. It's a special thing to do. And I know you understand that. That's part yeah, of Yeah, more and more every you, year, why man. Why you do what you do, too. And I, it's, it's a complicated thing. The, the, you know, one part music business, one part, you know, hosting events, mm -hmm. one part sort of entrepreneur, you know, like, one part volunteer, yeah. it's all these things. Very much. But when it's all said and done, I mean, it's a beautiful thing when it all comes together and you have an event that is special, a place where people can go and feel safe and be happy with, uh, uh, without any interference. Right. You know, because that's the thing, like we're talking about life, you know, we're like our own worst enemies and, you know, we like get down on ourselves and we like can't stop watching the news because oh, yeah. of all the shit out there yeah, and it's dude. like you know to have to create a place where people can come and, and listen to music they can hang out they can have fun they can laugh really hard but laugh so hard that you cry yeah that's a beautiful thing that's great and that makes life better not just for you and the individual but for everybody around you i mean you, you can return to your everyday life with the with the brighter outlook you know um you can forget about the, whatever's hurting you inside for a minute and sometimes that's all we need yeah, is just a minute, a, a breather, uh, a chance to remember to remember who we are. Yeah, and why we're doing what it is that we're doing. And I find, you know, uh, I've at your events too. I mean, you know, even long ago, like I've made lifelong friends. You know, yeah, like just being oh, yeah. that open, like you said, and like being able to like take a step back, you end up opening up, you know, yourself to making new connections with new people. Yep. and that's integral. You know yep. what I mean? That's so huge.
Well, and that's that's sort of the anomaly that is like the music festival or like the that concert experience. You know, you're tapping into something else. There's an energy flow. You're meeting somebody. You're sharing energy. Yeah. Music opens us up in ways that are hard to even understand. Um, you know, I mean, the, some of the things we do understand are like low bass frequencies literally mm -hmm. hypnotize us. Yeah. The, our, our pulse you will fall yeah. in, in sync with the beat. I mean, those are things that that's just like science. Those things that actually happen. Yeah, that's the music crazy affects to me. Us. There's, but there's more that we don't understand at all. You know, and so. <laughs> for me it's been the most powerful medium that I've ever found in my life that I've ever experienced on both sides not only just being a creator but being in the audience as well yeah and um, yeah you know those moments you speak of you know you meet people that you'll never forget or lifelong friends or you have the times of your life you know you does you don't always realize it's 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 about to happen no Either. it's you never of, see it coming but I've gotten pretty yeah. good at realizing when it's happening for sure you know you do oh, it totally. enough times and you're like this totally. is it these yeah. are the times like this is like, yeah pay yeah. attention like listen yeah. enjoy it all like you know Max said that one time at a you know like at, at a random you know Max Graham's really good at recognizing when this is yep. you know yep. and, and really take in I think that's an enlightened uh, sort of attitude Thank to you. have that to recognize that we we have a beautiful thing going on that something amazing is happening and I'm a part of that yeah it's all the more reason to be thankful and grateful for the life that you have or the yeah. moment that you find yourself in exactly and um, yeah I mean anybody who's out there listening to this or you know you and I we understand that because we we have lived that and, and that's why we spend our time and our energy and our lives I mean yeah. my life my life has been ded lives. dedicated to <laughs> yeah. make creating music to creating music events, opportunities for people to experience music, whatever it may be, and then all the after effects with maybe the, the relationships and the and the marriages and the children and all <laughs> yep. the other things that come from it, and go on and on and on, you know. And so, that's yeah, just uh, it's an amazing journey, and uh, you know, I I wouldn't do anything else. I wouldn't know I wouldn't know how or what want what, to do anything yeah. else. Yeah, uh, that's I've kind of come to that conclusion. I've just gotten to a point where there's nothing else. I know how to do or that I would want to do. You well, know? it's not even a pro whether or not you could do. Of course, you could do. I mean, you could, else, but like, but to, you have a gift, though, yeah. and you have to share that. And to not share that would be would be wrong. You know? Well, thanks. And that's that's the real beautiful thing too, to realize that that you have an opportunity to create something special yeah. and share it with people. You know, like your TV show here, for instance. Hello, show. Whoever yeah. thought this guy would have. Show. I know. Well, Heatbox is I to blame. Know. Honestly, he had his game show, and I was like, "And you were so jealous." I, I mean, not jealous, <laughs> but it, you know, you know me. I like to see what people are doing. I'm like, I want to do that, <laughs> you know. But I don't want to do exactly that because you know he coded his whole show. Like he coded all those games. He invented TV. He, in, so. he invented television. Yeah. He's like, thank he's, you, Heatbox. He, he's like the uh, the Al Gore, but but for television instead of the internet, because you know Al Gore said. Invented the Can internet. we use that quote? Is that <laughs> sure? <laughs> That's good. Oh, he did say that, didn't he? Yeah. Heatbox is the Al Gore. What a jerk. I know. It's like he did. <laughs> he did. Heatbox anyway. never said that, though. He never said he invented TV. I said he did. All right, let's speak. <laughs> Heatbox invented let's television. Let's be clear about that. He invented Mickey Mouse. Um, Al Gore, he can do whatever he wants. Yeah, he's, guess, he made some movies. He they did. Were, they yeah. were very true yep. and fortunate. <laughs> um, yeah. I have one. Do you want to play a song on the guitar, or do you? Would that be cool? Sure. Nice. Yeah. Let me tune it for you. My guitar is a little banged up over the years, but and the action's a little high. But these people have seen me play all the time. Yeah. I wonder what should we do. I don't know. If I know the words, I'll sing along. <laughs> Martin. I just bought a new guitar for tomorrow. Stop that train, I 
Stop that train, I'm leaving. Stop that train, I'm leaving. We won't be too long, whether I'm right or wrong. We won't be too long. All my life I've been a lonely man Trying to teach my people the best they can and Though I try, try to do my best Lord, I just can't find no happiness Stop that train Stop that train, I'm leaving. Stop that train, I'm leaving. Lord, oh, it won't be too long, whether I'm right or wrong. Oh, it won't be too long, whether I'm right or wrong. Some fly east, some fly west On the Starship Enterprise Trying to do their very best Make it so And though I try All these tears they fall In outer space I can't find no love at all So on Earth Let <laughs> that train Stop that train, I'm leaving, leaving. Stop that intergalactic spaceship, I'm leaving. Get the heck out of here. <laughs> Cause it won't be too long, whether I'm right or wrong. Oh, it won't be too long, whether I'm right or wrong. <laughs> Killed you dead. <laughs> now you're alive again. <laughs> the Smoking Joe Show. Smoking Joe Show. Pew, pew, pew. <laughs> Love the sound effects always. Well, Mark, is there anything else you want to say about this other than, you know, we have a share going on? And then, yeah, we're not giving it away until we have a chance to assess these shares. So we're going to post it after the show. I can't announce yeah. it. On the show. We'll see you this weekend at Hotel Minnesota. Come join us. Yep. Um, come check out the Galactic Lounge. It's going to be super awesome. We have tons of music, tons of stuff going on for all everybody. It doesn't even matter. you got kids. It doesn't matter. There's pool parties. Yep. we got yoga. There's um, We have an inspirational uh, talk with uh, Massive Amounts of Good, Dr. Turner Bird and Deploy. Absolutely. That's um, really cool. I'm glad you guys are doing that. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. I mean, everything from hip-hop to bluegrass, you can't go wrong. So join us, Hotel Minnesota, this weekend, January 4 or 5, here at mm -hmm. Crown Plaza uh, West in Plymouth. It's only like 20 minutes from anywhere yeah. in Minneapolis and maybe minutes. like 30 minutes from anywhere in St. Paul. Like yep. really, it's not, it's not, it's so close. <laughs> There's still some uh, tickets and rooms available, so don't uh, hesitate. Go ahead and swoop them up and come through with your crew and come hang out with Joe. So yeah, uh, you got one, you got about, I don't know, two minutes left to get those shares in. Otherwise, uh, thank you all for watching and thank you, Mark. Yeah, bud. Fucking... This guy kicks it. Pew, pew. And we'll uh we'll uh we'll catch you next time and I will play us out. Bye. Because I'm with you through thick and thin. Whatever trouble you are in, I don't care whatever you do. Just know that I love you. Oh, oh. oh I love you. You know, sometimes you got trouble. Plenty of trouble.
getting you down. But you don't have to worry about your troubles no more, cause I'll always be around, because I'm with you through thick and thin, whatever trouble you are in, I don't care whatever you do, just know that I can love you a world. I love you.